I am, you know, I think you're probably used to me by now. I'm back with another haul, so that's kind of exciting. Today, though, is actually a small haul. So I know every time I'm like, oh, I just have a little haul. But today I actually really do only have um, a few small things um, to show you because we are, my husband's birthday is in a couple weeks. So we are going to go um, back to visit my brother and sister-in-law um, for his birthday. And then as you guys might know, if you've watched my videos, we love to thrift when we go visit them. So I'm hoping that um, we find a lot of awesome stuff when we go there. We'll see. But in the meantime, I just had a few little things that I've been kind of like bits and bobs that I've been thrifting lately. So I figured, well, it would make more sense for me to just kind of do a small uh, thrift haul and show you that stuff. And then that way um, I can put all of this stuff away and get it listed. And then when we go on our bigger haul in a couple of weeks, I can kind of show you that and that'll just be like one haul. So it's not like a three hour haul. <laughs> Yikes. All right. So um, I guess I'm just going to get right into it. I have sort of been popping into Goodwills just here and there. And then I have a couple little things that my husband got me for Christmas that I thought I would show you and one estate sale. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay. So um, the first thing is um, last weekend we went to Goodwill and there were quite a few pickers in there. So I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm really going to find anything. Um, it's funny because one of the people that I follow on Instagram says that she can always tell if someone's a new picker because their entire cart is full. And actually, I do think that's that's probably pretty fair and pretty true. Um, so if you are a, and, and she also gave some really excellent advice, so I'm going to steal it right now. <laughs> um, if you are new to reselling, don't buy anything the first few times that you go to Goodwill unless you like find something that you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, you know, obviously. But try not to buy anything the first few times. And if you're like, if you're new to picking and you're not 100% sure what to get, um, the first few times that you go to thrift stores, don't buy anything just yet. Get a sense of what you will see over and over and over again um, versus the stuff that's truly special. So for instance, um, like I see a lot of brass candlesticks and I love brass candlesticks and I love brass in general. So I have a really hard time um, not buying brass. But the thing is, I see them a lot. So because of that, that's not something that I necessarily pick up. Um, same thing with like milk glass. I love milk glass. I think it's beautiful. But because I buy so much stuff in bulk and we have so much stuff listed, um, I don't buy that much milk glass just because um, I see it at thrift stores a lot. So you'll get an idea of things that you see all the time versus things that are really special. And then you'll kind of um, tone your eye into what to pick and what not to pick. All right. So anyhow, um, I've been really annoying, so I'm sorry. Okay. Couple things that we got. Um, the first thing I found is this huh, brass candlestick holder. I thought that would be kind of funny to like segue into that to this, you know. Um, the reason why I did get this is because of the stars. So I am gonna hold this until Christmas. So I thought it was cool. Um, it's not super exciting, um, but it's like, it's not just one. It's, I liked that it was three that made it a little bit unique for me. I haven't seen one with stars before. Um, and I do know that stars kind of correlate really nicely with Christmas. So I'm not sure if I'm going to list this right away or if it's um, something that I'll save and list towards the holiday season. But anyhow, I thought it was a little bit unique. So I picked it up. Um, I was also grasping a little bit at straws because there was not that much to get. Um, so this was $2.99 um, and it's, it was cute. I liked it. Um, all right. Then, okay. So then I found, um, like I have said many times before, um, when Goodwills are bringing stuff out is usually when I find the best stuff. Um, so that was kind of the case. Again, we went to another Goodwill that I really, really love um, that's a little bit far away from me. And they had just a bunch of random stuff that they were starting to put out. And so I literally like grabbed all of it. <laughs> um, so the first thing is this um, wood, it, 
it's kind of like a candlestick holder, um, kind of like a little vase. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. It looks Czechoslovakian to me. Um, you can tell that it's handmade from the bottom. Um, it looks sort of like it's wood burned, but it's actually, um, the lines are wood burned and then the, um, designs, the like geometric designs are painted. But anyway, I just thought it was really cool and kind of like folky and just pretty. So I thought it was unique also. And I've been into kind of like boho, like, um, I don't know, very natural type of thing. So I picked that up and then kind of going along the same lines of that is I picked up this little, um, piece of pottery. So it is not marked at the bottom, but I believe it's, I want to say Malabar pottery. Um, I could be wrong, but, um, basically that style of pottery is where they emboss, um, the imprints of leaves and, branches and things like that. So I just sort of liked again, like how organic and, and natural this looked. I liked the dark gray. I liked that it's a matte glaze on the outside and the inside is like a true shiny black glaze. So, and I, of course, like I, you guys know, I love nature. So I just thought it was pretty. Um, I believe it's Japanese and yeah, so those two things actually, I am really proud of myself, are listed um, on my Etsy. So I've been trying to like kick it into gear and try to list like five things a night. So we'll see how we do. I've, I've done it for two weeks and I am tired. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, um, but we'll see if I can kind of keep up the pace and at least just get a bunch of things listed before we go on our trip because I'm drowning in merchandise, guys. It's, it's wild. Not that that's a problem because I love just kind of like living with all of my loot, but you know. Um, and then the next thing that was on the um, little cart of things that they were bringing out is this um, blown glass paperweight. So I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the bubbles in it. And I love the flowers and it's just really big and heavy and just really, really great. I, I just thought it was stunning. Um, there's the bottom. So it does have like a little tiny ding on the bottom. It's super small. Um, generally when I pick these up, they do have damage. So I was pretty excited because this is like, you can it's like right there. It's such a tiny, tiny little nick that I barely even noticed that it was there. So um, I think it'll still find a home. Um, usually there, there's considerable damage to these guys because of their nature. But isn't that just so pretty? I don't know. It's just so pretty to me. There's just something like that's just fun about it. And I don't know. Glass is just, there's something just like really cool about glass. So um, I got that at the same, same thrift. Um, I think this was $2.99. Um, this was $1.99 and I don't know how much this was like $1.99, I think. Um, then I got two of these little, um, Japanese trinket boxes. So, um, I need to take the <laughs> tape off of this one. Um, I took the tape off of this one and I washed it. Um, it was pretty dusty. It's still a little dusty, but that's okay. They're really cool. They're plastic, um, but they have just like a lot of detail and filigree. And the top is straw. I believe they're um, Japanese, but I suppose they could be Chinese. Um, but I just thought they were really cool and unique and I loved all the detail. So um, this one was $2.99 and this one was, I think, $1.99. Um, so I think I'm going to sell them as a set. I just think they're really cool. I don't know. I love like little boxes. Um, I, I buy a lot of little trinket type boxes. So it's kind of one of those things I really, really love. Um, I don't know. I thought this was cool. It's kind of funny. All these things were from, I guarantee you all these things were from the same house and they just kind of picked up a bunch of their like random trinkets. Um, maybe they were like grandmas, I don't know, and um, donated them. So kind of fun to find like all of this stuff in one spot. Um, then the next thing I got was, um, 
one of these sort of boho trays. So it's it has pressed flowers in it. I have had them with butterflies that um, it's probably a little more cool if it has butterflies, but I still really like this. It's very organic and natural with the pressed um, leaves in it. And it's bamboo, um, really pretty. And I like that it comes with the tray and the coasters because you could honestly use the tray like as a little vanity tray or something and then use the coasters separately. So you don't have to necessarily use them all together. So it kind of makes it um, more worthwhile. But this is about the third one that, of these that I've had. Um, they've all been a little bit different and I liked this one and it was $5. So I was like, eh, I'll buy it. Um, the other two that I had have sold. So hopefully somebody is in the market for that. Um, then I got this cute little pottery set. So um, it all kind of came together. So there's the little creamer and then um, the sugar is my favorite because I love the top. How cute. And then there's two little cups. So it's kind of like a little espresso set almost to me. Or like a Cuban coffee. But anyway, I just thought like, I don't know. I love pottery. And I just thought they were so pretty. And I love that it's like a whole little set. And it's kind of hard to find the lids on things like this. So kind of fun that it was still all intact. So that was a really pretty, um, really cute little organic set. So hopefully this will find a loving home um, or it will stay with me because I could be a loving home. <laughs> um, okay, all right. So then um, Jordan and I went to an estate sale and so we went on the first day of the estate sale, but we didn't get there until 10. It started at eight. It was two hours away. So, I mean, the way I think about it is like, if it's a two hour away estate sale and it starts at eight, in order for us to get there, like that requires a lot of planning because we, not only do we have to like be up by six, but we gotta like leave by six. So we gotta be up by like five. So yeah, that did not happen. <laughs> we left the house around eight and so we didn't get there until 10, but that's okay. We still found some really cool stuff. A lot of the like, a lot of the advertised items were gone, but actually the one thing that I really, really wanted was still there. So that was pretty exciting. Um, it, you never know with estate sales. So sometimes you go in and it's like the tiniest house and there's like three rooms to look at. And sometimes, oh, I'd like a hair. And sometimes, um, it's like a huge house with tons of stuff and you're like, okay, why was this not in the pictures? I don't even understand. Um, but this was definitely um, the latter. It was, or the former, I should say. Um, it was a very tiny little house, uh, just like a few rooms, but right, almost right on the water. So like a really, really beautiful location. Very old house, probably built in like the 60s or 50s and um, had been there ever since. So the real estate now is just like, so expensive but we found some really cool stuff um and yeah the first thing i found so well not necessarily the first thing i found but one of the things that i found um were these three little poodles so i just thought they were really cute um they had them marked for they still even have their little um foil made in japan that's cool sticker on the bottom um anyhow they had them marked for 15 um for the set and then she ended up giving them to me for 12. if i had been able to come like one of the next days i definitely could have gotten them for a little bit of a better price but since we live so far away it was not going to be driving in another two hours to save four dollars on poodles <laughs> so you know twelve dollars is an ideal but it's okay they're still so cute um, so, so cute. So I couldn't leave them. Um, hopefully somebody will love them on Etsy. So yeah. And they're in really good shape. So sometimes, um, like their little tails are broken off. So these guys are, were not like that. So success. Um, <laughs> cabbage, always cabbage, always cabbage. Um, okay. And then the next thing I found, 
Oh my gosh, you guys. This was not in the pictures at all. And thank goodness I'm a weirdo and no one else is a weirdo because this is like one of the coolest things. I'm such a dork. Um, but it's this vintage mug. I don't know. Vintage Halloween is just really hard to find. Um, and I only have one vintage Halloween mug and it's like from the 90s, I want to think. So not super vintage. Um, but look at her. Okay, so it's this awesome witch and her cauldron and her little cat. But what makes it even cooler is it's a souvenir piece from Salem. So um, it says Salem Mass on the bottom. And then it says ye old recipe. So eye of toad, leg of lizard, mix it all up and shove it down your gizzard. So I mean, come on, come on, it's so good. So yeah, I've been using this like nonstop, even though it's not Halloween. Um, Cause she's just, she's just everything. Amazing. So this was like such a fun find. I was like, yes, cause it kind of made the drive worth it. Um, which is so insane that a, a witch mug would make it worth it for me, but whatever. I love her. So that yeah, success, success. Um, okay. Now I'll show you the actual like item that I went for that luckily they still had, um, which is pretty cool. Um, In the listing, in on the, the pictures, they had a lot of like space stuff. So I think that the original owner was a pilot, but they had tons and tons of space memorabilia um, from the 60s. So all of that like sold instantly. But luckily for me, that's what most people were coming for. So they weren't kind of coming for what um, I was coming for. So what I was coming for were these um, old colored um, photographs. So I just loved these. When I saw them in the listing, I went bananas over them. Um, I'm going to frame them and then maybe do like a little collage. Um, I just think they're phenomenal. They're quite old, definitely probably 1910s um, and just amazing. And I got her, thought she was really cool. And then the crudita is this lady. So when I saw these ladies in the listing, I just went crazy and was like told Bear that we just had to go. Um, I could not miss out on these. So that's kind of what made us go. Obviously, if they had had any of the cool old space stuff, I would have probably tried to pick some of that up. But the real reason why I went is for these. So luckily, thank goodness they still had them, even though we went late. Um, and for fun, I got some poodles and a witch mug <laughs> thrown in. So yeah, this is labeled 1912 and it says the Schlesinger Brothers, New York. So, yep. Yep, yep. Perfect, right? So I can't wait to frame all of them together and then do like a little gallery wall. I'll probably put them in our bedroom. Um, oh, but now I have to look for frames and that's going to be, that's going to be a whole another animal but whatever um I I love paper ephemera too so yeah super super excited that was like probably like one of the coolest things I found in a while so success then because it was two hours away um we ended up kind of thrifting our way home which is cool um it was a I want to say it was a haul it was a Saturday but for some reason I can't even remember. I have the worst memory lately, you guys. I'm sorry. But for some reason, like most of the thrift stores were closed, but like the Goodwills were open. So I don't really remember why. But I do know that we were able to hit a couple of Goodwills on our home on our way home, which is really cool. Um, so 
The first Goodwill that we went to is one that I had only been to one other time and I really liked it. So I'm definitely going to try and go back even though it's pretty far away because they had a lot of cool stuff. And then the other one that we went to is usually pretty terrible, but I did find some a few things, so that's kind of cool. So for at the the one that I liked better is a little farther away from us. So um the first thing I got is this giant um brass vase. I just thought it was super rad, like so, so cool. Um, it has like obviously all of the filigree, but this is the biggest one I've seen. I have like a whole collection of them um, and I have one that's close to this, but this is definitely like the the Papa Bear of my collection. So I don't know, I have a few listed. Um, I might try to put them in a set and then see if maybe they sell a little bit better that way. But anyway, I thought this was super cool. And this Goodwill, even though it was like still two hours away from me, um, still took our discount, which is like success. So I still got my 20% um, off or 25% off, whatever it is. So this was $10, um, but then like with my discount, it just kind of seemed worth it. Plus it's just cool, I don't know. So I got that. Um, then I got these little mugs. So, you know, cause I needed more mugs. Hot mess over here, guys. But I love that they were a set. I loved like the flower power. I love the shape. Obviously these are going to get listed. Um, I have been listing mugs, so, you know, good for me. Um, I did sell two, so slowly but surely, our mugs will find new homes where they can be loved and appreciated. But anyway, thought those were cool. Um, what else did I find at that store? Oh my goodness. Cabbage is like trying to get out of a closed window. She's literally like digging at her window trying to get out. And I want to be like, my friend, it's glass. I don't know what to tell you. Ugh, rabbits. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I like completely like digress. Um, okay, so I found that cool thing and then, oh my gosh, of course everything else is far away. Then, Look at this cool little bag I got. This is like, to me, like this is like quintessential thrift, like treasure, you know, where you just hope that you're gonna kind of find something cool like this. So it's not designer, it's not like anything crazy, but it's it's vintage, it's leather, it's like the most yummy color. It has a super cute little, um, I don't know, little pocket. It zips, it's a crossbody, it's a great size. It even looks really cute on. Um, I wore it out the other day. It is does kind of have like a grandma smell, like a grandma cigarette smell a little bit, but that's okay. So awesome, um, so, so awesome. Just love it. So super excited to find this. Um, I think it was $5, so not bad at all. Um, and that was a really, really good find. So yay for, yay for that success for that. Um, trying to think what else I got at that thrift store. Cause I feel like I got other stuff, but I don't know. I'm not really seeing the rest of it. So I have no idea. Um, then on our way home, I found a few other little things. Um, oh, I found this pottery. So this other thrift store, this other Goodwill is terrible. Like it's really, really, really big. So you think it would be awesome, but it's like 90% clothes and very, just like a very few things on the shelves and what's there is pretty messy and just like broken and terrible. So um, when I found these two pots, my husband was looking at me like I was a lunatic. And then it's so funny because he was like, and then he was like, actually, you usually know when you see something that's like something good. So I'm just not even going to say anything so that I'm, I'm not proven wrong later. And I'm glad that he said that <laughs> because, um, and this is the smaller one. So, um, I did a lot of digging, a lot of research. They are marked Italy on the bottom. Um, I believe the, I, I could be mispronouncing it or misremembering, but the, 
Um, Potter is, I believe it's like Fratinelli or I don't know. I have it written down so that when I um, list them, I attribute it to the correct Potter. But I did find the exact same ones um, online. And so I am 100% sure that I am correct. But look how cool they are, first of all. So they are mid-century. They're glazed with blue on the inside. They're from the 60s. Um, and they are just stunning. They're not in perfect condition. This one has a little chip on the bottom. And the bigger one um, has some chips in the glaze around the top. Because I do believe this was used as a flower pot. Even though, like, probably you shouldn't have. But, I mean, I, I guess I would if... I don't know. Anyway, I just think they're really, really beautiful. Um, it's going to be hard to sell these because I've been getting, I've definitely been getting into pottery lately and I love mid-century modern pottery. And I just love like this orange glaze, just like, oh, just brings me so much joy. I just can't even with how much I love that. So anyway, um, I was super excited to find these. They're not like worth like a huge crazy amount of money, but they're definitely worth like, I don't know, probably like, Maybe like a, a hundred bucks for the set. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, um, I was super excited to find them because this thrift store is kind of terrible. So to find like a real treasure is actually pretty awesome. Um, the little one was $2.99 and the bigger one was $4.99. So very, very excited about those two guys. Um, then I got this little um, screen. I believe that this was probably originally at like a jewelry store. I'm not really sure, but I just thought it would be so cool to be used um, like on a vanity. So it's, it's lacquered wood um, and then it's two sided. So the first one has like all these different um, planters with all these beautiful pots. So that's super cool. And then, um, the opposite side is all of these beautiful ladies. Aren't they just like amazing? Oh, cabbage. So they had this marked for 15, um, I mean for 19.99 for 20. And we asked the manager if they would do 15 and they said yes. So we got it for 15 and then we got our discount on top of that. So it only ended up being like closer to 12. So I felt like that was pretty worth it because it's so cool. Um, it has brass hinges, so it's definitely vintage. And I don't know, I just thought it was really, really beautiful. I've been really into um, like Asian um, items and lately and just been kind of like really into stuff like this. So. I don't know. I just thought it was stunning. I thought it would be so pretty on like a, a vanity. But anyhow, I got that. So um, cool. We got a couple of really awesome stuff. And then I have a few random things that I picked up at Goodwills like here and there that I like literally don't even remember when. Um, the first thing is these two little, I believe they're probably ashtrays. Um, but they're really pretty. They do say Italy on the bottom. So they are mid-century. Um, just like simple pink, um, with a gold rim on the outside, really nice little like ring dishes or like catch all dishes. So I was excited to pick up those. Um, those will find a home, I hope. And then one thing that I'm super excited to find was, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. The struggle over here is this little vintage coach um so you know if you know what vintage coach looks like then all you have to do is see this uh hinge and you're you immediately know what you're looking at and then of course the leather gives itself away as well because it's just very soft and subtle, supple um this guy's obviously a little worse for wear he's he's been well loved but he's super cool um has the coach logo on the inside not that you know not that you care um but what's really cool is it was $2.99 what what so I don't know sometimes Goodwill is super crazy and they want a million dollars for things and sometimes they want $2.99 
plus your discount on a vintage coach bag. Like who even are these people? Don't know. But super excited about that. Um, that kind of made everything worthwhile and I was so happy about that. Um, then Jordan actually found this guy when we were out thrifting. Um, so it's a vintage um, 1960s straw beach bag. So I love the way they incorporated the yarn in these guys. It's just so pretty. Um, and it's a really nice big size. So you could really fit like a towel and a whole bunch of goodness in here. Um, so this was $5. Love this. Um, so this guy will be on Etsy. It is does have a little bit of marks on the side where it's been. You would think that Cabbage munched it, but I actually bought it like that. But otherwise, in really good condition and a really cool piece. So I'm super, super excited about that. Um, oh, and then I did also, I can't, couldn't remember if I showed you this last time. So if I did, I apologize. Um, but I did get another Dooney. Um, I found this black one. I feel like I did talk about this. So if I did, I'm, I'm sorry. Then I grabbed one piece of art. I've been trying not to buy too much art because it is really hard to ship and hard to sell um, because the shipping is expensive, but I really liked this. I've been really getting into um, museum like posters lately. So I just thought this was super cool. Um, just very simple, kind of 90s with the, um, it's funny because the painting itself is from, um, I think the 50s. But let's see, or no, the painting itself is from 1925, which is funny because then like, you know, everything sort of comes back and resurfaces, um, has like a resurgence because if you, you know, remember the 90s, the sunflower thing was everywhere and um, this artist was shown in this poster itself is from 1988. So I don't know, I've just been really into these vintage art posters or something just really cool about them. I like that the um, museum is dated and that it's still vintage. And then it's framed in this nice like metal frame, I don't know, under glass. So I thought that was really cool. I'll probably put it out and just enjoy it for now until it finds its forever home. Um, yeah. So now I just have a couple little pieces of jewelry and some things to, a couple little things to show you and then we'll be good to go. Um, so I got this little cat. I thought he was super cool. Um, he's a pin. So I don't know. I just thought he was funny. I loved his eyes. So I think he's probably eighties. I haven't really done any research on him yet cause he's not listed, but anyway, I thought he would be cool and someone on Etsy would appreciate him. So I picked up him. And then I picked up this pair of 1960s um, clip-on earrings. I just really liked the big green stones. I just thought they were so pretty. Um, I just thought these would be fun to wear too, right? With all those like stones in them and the brushed gold, just very 60s. So I got those. Um, and then Bear got me a, a few pieces of jewelry for Christmas. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple. So the first thing one he found are these little um, Native American earrings. They're pretty cool. They're sterling silver and then turquoise and the middle has this really pretty little garnet um, stone and they're just kind of dangly. Silver on the back. So super excited about those. Excited to wear those. And then he got me this cool little... Um, necklace it's also sterling i'm not a hundred percent sure i'd have to do a little bit more research to figure to remember um what stone it is it's kind of hard to see but it has like a little moose um silver overlay over this kind of really pretty stone um so i thought that was really cool just like very unique and different so he got me that and then I collect um, Thunderbirds. You guys might know um, I collect vintage Thunderbirds. I like the pins. Um, so he got me one for my collection. 
just thought that guy was really, really cool. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then he got me a bird book. Um, I like vintage um, animal books. So this is Our Amazing Birds. It has kind of a cool cover. Um, and it has some really neat images in it. So I love when they have like drawings instead of pictures like um like photography i prefer drawings to photography so it's really cool the whole thing is full of pictures you can kind of see almost every page has pictures so really fun to look through and kind of look at the original old art and then um one of the other things he got me is this beautiful little ring dish so i'm super excited about this um it's Kind of hard to tell, but it's just so detailed. I absolutely love how much filigree is on here um, with all of the, the detail. It's just so pretty. So I'm very excited about this. I'm definitely gonna be using this to put jewelry in. So yeah. All right guys, so that was pretty much everything. Oh wait, no, I have one more thing. Um, I'm actually like drinking my coffee right now, um, you know. So I figured, oh, well, since I'm drinking my coffee, I'll drink my coffee um, in a mug that I can show you. So I just thought this was super cool. It is a 25th reunion um, mug from a high school class. Not really sure. It's the freehold high school not sure where that is I should probably look it up but anyway the 25th reunion is in 1964 because the class is the class of 1939 so pretty awesome that these kids graduated in 1939 and then they celebrated their 25th reunion in 1964 so how could I not buy that right it's just so amazing and then obviously on the bottom it just says USA because um, it was made here. So yeah, this, my friends, is the reason why I have 50,000 bajillion mugs because like, how could I not save this and use it and keep it forever? Um, I just, I couldn't, I love it. All right, so, oh, I just remembered. Okay, so we did also buy a piece of furniture, but it's in the garage because we're going to refinish it. Um, so I guess I'll show you that later, but anyhow, um, thank you so much for watching. I know that there's like, I'm pretty random and scatterbrained. So I definitely appreciate everyone who watches me and deals with my nonsense. And um, if there's anything you're interested in, um, we do have an Etsy shop. So it is linked in the bottom of the video in the description. Um, not everything is listed. So if there's anything that you would like to like me to list, just let me know. Um, but thank you so much for all the comments and just for subscribing. I really appreciate everybody. It's kind of fun to just talk to like-minded people that also appreciate vintage and don't just think I'm totally crazy for buying a bunch of other people's trash. So yes, I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week and bye.